Joshua chapter 14. These are the inheritances that the Israelites received in the land of Canaan, which the priest Eleazar and Joshua son of Nun and the heads of the families of the tribes of the Israelites distributed to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as the Lord had commanded Moses, for the nine and one-half tribes. For Moses had given an inheritance to the two and one-half tribes beyond the Jordan. But to the Levites he gave no inheritance among them. For the people of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and no portion was given to the Levites in the land, but only towns to live in, with their pasture lands for their flocks and herds. The Israelites did as the Lord had commanded Moses. They allotted the land. Then the people of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the, Kez, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, in Kadesh Barnea, concerning you and me. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him an honest report. But my companions who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Yet I wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God, and Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land on which your foot has trodden shall be an inheritance for you and your children forever, because you have wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. And now, as you see, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said, these forty-five years since the time that the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while Israel was journeying through the wilderness, and here I am today, eighty-five years old. I am still as strong today as I was on the day that Moses sent me. My strength now is as my strength was then, for war and for going and coming. So, now give me this hill country of which the Lord spoke on that day, for you heard on that day how the Anakim were there with great fortified cities. It may be that the Lord will be with me, and I will drive them out, as the Lord said. Then Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, for an inheritance. So Hebron became the inheritance of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite to this day, because he wholeheartedly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. Now the name of Hebron formerly was Kiriath Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim, and the land had rest from war.